Hey guys, Crystal here from Crystico Design. Today we're working up this rich dishcloth pattern. We're using a number four worsted weight cotton yarn dishy and five millimeter US eight knitting needles. This dishcloth pattern includes four sizes. For the six inch size, you'll need 37 yards, eight inch 71 yards, 10 inch 100 yards, and 12 inch 145 yards. You can use any cast on method for this. I'm using a long tail cast on here. And I've cast on 29 for a small six inch version. If you'd like a larger version, you can cast on 37 for eight, 47 for 10, and 57 for 12. Okay, so for the first rows, we are just going to knit. We'll start with the four rows of knits for this pattern. When we get to the end of our row here, we'll just turn our work and continue knitting all the stitches. Okay, after you have knit the first four rows, it's time to start our stitch pattern. We'll knit our first three to give ourselves a bit of an edge here. And then we'll purl one, knit one, purl one, and keep repeating knit ones, purl ones across until there are three stitches left. Then we'll knit those last three. When you have three stitches left, you're going to knit the last three. And then we'll turn our work. Start with knitting the first four for this one. Then we'll purl one, knit one, purl one, and keep repeating across until our last three stitches again. And just like we started with four knits, we'll knit those last three. So you'll have four knits together because our repeat here ends on a knit one. Four stitches left, knit one, two, three, four. So we'll keep knitting on those first few stitches three or four, depending on which row we're on. Okay, so now we'll start our four row repeat for the main section of our dishcloth. The next two rows will be all knits. And then we'll repeat those two rows of purl one knit ones that we just did. So knit two rows. If we knit our first two rows of our repeat, now we'll start again. We're repeating row five. Knit the first three. And then purl one, knit one. Purl one. Repeat across, knit one, purl one, until you have three stitches left. And knit those last three stitches. We'll start this one with four knits. Purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. If you'll notice here, we're stacking. That's a knit and we're knitting. That's a purl and we're purling. Okay, four stitches left. We'll knit the last four. And then we are ready to start those four rows again. And we'll just keep repeating those until we are 
within half an inch of our height. So if this is six inches, I'm going to keep re repeating those four rows until I have five and a half inches. Then I'll knit the last four rows. Once your dishcloth is within half an inch of the total height you want, then you are ready to finish off with four rows of just knits. So I have finished one of the four row repeats here, and now I'm just going to knit for four more rows before binding off. Okay, once you have knitted the last four rows, it's time to bind off. And we can just do a standard bind off where you knit the first two, and then pull the first one over. Keep binding off across the row. You get down to the last stitch, you can pull up a long loop and cut your yarn and weave in your end there. You can also add a knitted cast on to do a little hanging loop. And if you'd like to do that, I will link up that tutorial for you in the description.